My name is Charlotte Dodson. I've been practicing and teaching yoga for over 15 years. Ultimately, the practice and the teachings have taught me to be true to myself, and I wish for everyone to embrace positivity within their everyday life. So I'm not gonna lie here, you look amazing. You're so strong and you're so full of vitality and energy. Is this from yoga? Of course, yes. Um, beauty does start from the depths of a yoga practice. That's what lays in the heart of one. And that's the reason why one of my clients, Miranda Kerr, is drawn to yoga. She understands that that healthy glow of nourishment is what everyone sees around you. So not only are you just working physically, you're working emotionally, mentally, and spiritually as well, which is about having faith and believing in yourself. So to get this glow and to look beautiful and healthy and energetic, how many times should you practice yoga? And is, should you start at a certain level and progress to a certain level? You always progress. Um, obviously, the more you do something, the more you'll reap its benefits. Um, I really urge for everyone to practice daily if they can, even if it's just 20 minutes to an hour. And that could be simply sitting in meditation to a dynamic movement. And you'll just keep progressing from there. And then the form of yoga will feed into every area of your life. I mean, I like to stretch every morning and I, and I meditate at night. But there's some days when I just feel like I'm going backwards. I mean, how should I feel disheartened at that or should I just push through that? I just think you should accept exactly where you're at and you'll always be progressing to some degree, but it's just more about realising that you're in the moment and just cherishing that part and not, you know, worrying about the past or where you're going, just appreciate the journey that you're on. Mm. And we were talking earlier and, and you mentioned that um, sometimes you might not feel like doing a practice, but then when you actually get there, you surprise yourself. Um, I guess that's a good incentive. <laughs> <laughs> I just tell everybody, just roll a mat out, stand at the top and see what happens. You'll really surprise yourself. Um, before you know it, you may have completed a whole hour's class. Other times you may feel like, I'm really up for this, and you begin and you feel, I'm not really into it. Just stay on the breathing and it will just take you through. And eventually, as the poses become easier, the whole practice is actually a moving meditation. I've heard also that um, when you do yoga, it changes the foods that you want to eat. Like, do you not want chocolate anymore <laughs> if you do yoga? <laughs> Maybe a smaller amount. Just a little bit. <laughs> Maybe smaller amounts. <laughs> so you don't eat before a practice, mm -hmm. um, at least for two hours, because you'll feel it in the twists and the back bends. Um, and you tend to, you'll move to more of the salads and the vegetables and the healthier options yeah. because you feel good. You've, um, you've worked your body in a really kind way, so you want to feed your body with the same goodness that you've just worked through. I always say that the uh, world would be a peaceful place if we all practiced yoga. <laughs> <laughs>